All right, guys, welcome back to some more MLB 9 Inks 22. And in this one, we're not going to be doing a pack opening or any upgrading and training. We're not going to be messing with the team at all. This is going to be the first video of the new guide slash how-to series I'm doing on MLB 9 Inks 22. And so this video isn't going to be based off of a Fufu Reddit guide like I talked about previously. That'll be starting next week. But this video is going to be based around using stats and tickets to maximize your trains, more specifically around dominant pitcher and finesse pitcher. Now you can also use what I'm going to show you on batters as well in trying to hit a certain stat, like a minimum to a certain stat, and then also maximize power or something else. But this is going to be more around, like I said, pitchers with the dominant pit and finesse pitcher and stuff and trying to make sure you get the maximum, the location velo that you can while also keeping your dominant or finesse pitcher bonus at 15 or above. So let's go ahead and get this first guide started. Okay, so this has been heavily requested as of recently. I've been doing lots of training and using amp tickets on signature pictures that I got. And I've been mentioning how I'm going to go use an Excel file to figure out what's the max I can go to location or velo while also maintaining a finesse pitcher or dominant pitcher bonus. And that's what we're going to be talking about. We're going to be showing you guys all of that. Next week, we'll be starting with a Fufu Reddit guide for the first time. In this video, we're going to be using the signature vintage Jerry that we actually had to retrain but I love the train now, even more so when we had two stamina. We got 12 to location, 14 to velo, 6 to stamina, 7 to fastball, and 9 to breakthrough level 17. And so the reason I stop at level 17 is because once you get to that point, you can finish off the train with amp tickets that you can get from either Master League or from the store. And it's not like normal training where it's random. You could get more to stamina or something. You can literally pretty much finish the train how you want as long as you got the amp ticket to do it. So this card is skewed towards a finesse pitcher bonus. And as you can see, we have the finesse pitcher skill in this set. Not the greatest, but it's the best I've been able to roll so far. And what I mean by skewed is we have a lot more location than velo and then fastball and break are the same. So this card is easier to train for finesse pitcher bonus than it would be to try and overcome that stat difference and try and get a bonus on dominant pitcher where some cards are more towards velo and fastball and less location and break, which means it's easier to train towards dominant pitcher. And then some cards are even throughout to where you can train it either which way and still easily be able to get the bonus on whatever finesse pitcher or dominant pitcher or whatever you want to do. And with how low the velo is in the train I got on this, I could technically make velo number one in terms of the training and location number two and still have the finesse pitcher bonus. Some cases you're able to do that depending on the train. In this one, I'm not going to be doing that, and I'll explain it once we get into the next step, which we're going to start now. Alrighty, so now we're going to be building an Excel file to figure out what's the best possible way to allocate our amp tickets to finish off the train, and you can definitely do this in your head. It's not difficult. I just like to be able to visualize what I'm doing, and also it gives me more confidence and reassurance that the amp tickets I use are going to work and still give me the bonus I'm trying to go for. And by no means do I take any of the credit for what I'm about to do in this uh, Excel file. I've had people in the past take my trains and put them into their own little system. I've just picked up on that and started doing it on my own, and this is how I do it. So let's go ahead and open up a blank workbook, and let me make this a little bit bigger for you guys so you guys can see it. Okay, so now that we got the sheet up, we're going to be filling out the columns in rows. So for the columns, it's going to be location, velo, stamina, fastball, and break for a pitcher. And then for the rows, it's going to be the basic stats, then it'll be GI, our train and everything like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and fill that out and then we'll pick up from there. All right, so now we got our columns and rows filled out and I'll explain what the ST and train with amps rows mean as we go through. But what we gotta do now is literally just fill in what's on the actual card. So for the basic stats on the card, we got 77 location, 68 velo, 73 stamina, 74 fastball and 74 break. And I'm gonna do that for the GI and the train, which is the development on the card. So now that we got everything entered in as it appears on the card, we're going to be doing the formulas for the total and train with amp rows. Pretty simple stuff. Total, we're just going to be adding basic through ST rows. So we're going to be doing equals sum, parentheses. If you use Excel, you this is super simple stuff. We're going to select V2 through B6, enter. And then now that we got that, it added 77 plus 16 plus 12, which equals 105. We're just going to drag this over from the bo bottom right hand corner and it'll do that for all the other columns, velocity through break. In the train with amps row, all we're doing is adding the train and amps rows above. So the reason I do that, it's not important. I just like to be able to visualize the train and amps together and have that below so I know what I'm looking at in terms of applying special training. We'll get to that in a second. So all we have to do is equals sum and select these two right here. And it's going to be 12 because amps has nothing in it. And then same thing, drag it across. And there you go. It's just a train right there because we have no amps yet. And so the last formula that we need to set up is the one that calculates the finesse pitcher bonus. Do we have enough extra location and break than we do velocity and fastball in our situation? So right here, I'm just going to go ahead and type in FP bonus for finesse pitcher. So as dominant pitcher, I'll do DP. 
and then the cell to the right of it, I'm going to put in an actual formula. So we're going to do equals, and then this is just basic math. We're going to do parentheses, location, and then plus break parentheses. So that adds those two together, minus parentheses, below, plus fastball. And then enter, and that calculates that. So right now, with this train and nothing else, we have 14 more location and break combined than we do velocity and fastball. And if you were doing this for the dominant pitcher, you would just flip it. So it'd be C7 plus E7 minus B7 plus F7 in, in their respective parentheses. Okay, so now we're gonna do a quick background on how special training works. And if you guys already know this, you can obviously skip it. But for diamond card, there are eight special training levels and that's where it maxes out. For a black diamond, you unlock two extra levels all the way to level 10. So. The way I'm gonna explain this is, is that for special training, you'll get certain points to your top three stats once you get through level eight or level nine. And the way it figures out what it's gonna allocate certain amount of points to is based off of the, the development of these stats. So power right here has plus 16, that's the highest out of all the stats. And as you can see, through level nine on Black Diamond, we got plus 12. The next highest in terms of development is I, plus 14, it got plus 10 in terms of points for the special training. And then the next highest in terms of development, the third highest is contact at 13, it got plus four. And then the other two stats that are lowest in development don't get anything. So for a diamond card, it's a little bit different. As you can see, we have maxed our special training right here. So we are through level eight and we have power at the most development, 17, it gets plus 10. I is next at 16, it gets plus eight, and then contact is plus um, nine, which is tied with speed, but we'll get to that in a second. It gets plus two. So as you can see, it only has plus 10 plus eight plus two. So that makes a little bit of difference compared to plus 12 plus 10 plus four. That's because level nine on a black diamond gives you plus two points to the top three stats as well. So Jfish, what if the development is the same between two stats? Well, then it's going to look at grade increase. Well, what if the grade increase is the same for both of the two stats? Well, then it's going to look at basic stats. And then if all those are the same, well, then you're in a sticky situation and it's a little bit confusing and that's where I messed up with this train. I actually, why I had to redo it. So let's say fastball had nine development as well. So now we're looking at great increase. Those are the same, both at 15. Now we're looking at basic stats. They're both at 74. The way Fufu explained it to me, because I actually had to talk to him about, it, I hadn't ran into this situation before. It'll look at the stats to the left. So if we're comparing fastball and break. If they're both all the same, fastball is going to get the plus four for a black diamond or plus two if you're just a normal diamond card. I believe it's the same thing for velocity and location. It'll look to the left and give it to location, but I don't know. I can't speak on that. I've not ran into that before. So now that we have a basic understanding of how special training works, this part of the process is just trial and error and messing around with location and velo and making sure you also have finesse pitcher or dominant pitcher bonus 15 or above. So there's two possible combinations I like with this Jerry card. It's plus five location for velo and the reason that we have the train with amps row down here is because it combines the train and amps rows above first we will see which stat has the most development which as you can see velocity in this case is and we can go ahead and allocate our special training so i always base special training off of a black diamond card that is trained all the way through level nine which is the max points you get in terms of special training so we'll go 12 to velo we'll go 10 to location and then the next up after that is break at nine um, we'll give that four. So now we can see that calculates out to 17. We are above 15. We have a little bit of leeway and that works. There's another combination I can do, which would be six location or three velo. And then we'd have to switch this to 12 because now location's the top development at 18 and velo is second at 17, 10, and then breaks is the same because it's still at third at nine. So as you can see, finesse pitcher bonus, we're at 23 more location break than velocity and fastball. So we have lots of leeway and stuff. That makes location number one and velo number two. The other way makes velo number one and location number two. So like I said, I always base it off of the black diamond special training, 12, 10, four. If you have a card that you're not gonna make black diamond for a long time and you wanna make sure you have the finesse picture bonus on a diamond card, you can go 10, eight, two. So instead of this, it'd be 10, eight, two, because the maximum you can go is level eight and you can't get the two extra points to all three on level nine, like black diamond. If you want, but I rarely do that, but there are situations I guess where that would be okay if you wanted to. And so that's pretty much it for the Excel file. I'll go ahead and build a dominant picture sheet as well that calculates the dominant picture bonus and then that'll be linked in the description of the video for you guys to be able to use however you see fit. And I apologize if this was kind of confusing. I tried to explain it to the best of my ability. It's not easy to explain this, but uh, a lot of you guys have been requesting this, so.
Okay, that's going to do it for this video. If you guys have any questions regarding what we talked about in this one or any ideas for potential guide videos down the road, put them in the comments below. And then also, if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and leave a like and subscribe. And with that said, I'll see you guys next time.